Hey Playa, have you ever had a crush that was the friend of someone you used to have a crush on? It can get kind of complicated, but that's exactly what Aaron asked me when he said, the person I have a crush on now, I used to like her friend, so does that change how I approach her? It can get kind of tricky like I said, but there is a way to navigate these type of situations, and I'll share how to do it right after this. This is the Just Beats, you're watching the Just Beef. For those of you that are new here, my name is Josh, and every single Monday through Friday, I make videos sharing tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. And when it comes to approaching your ex-crush's friend, whew, you're in for a lot. Part of the problem here is that you're double dipping into one friend group. If you used to like one person in the group and now you like the other friend, that can create a bit of tension between the two of them. Now, if your ex-crush was someone that you liked and pursued, but it just didn't work out for, it only makes sense that you're ready to move on from them. But by going so close as going to their friend, it can make them feel like, wow, this person's just moving from person to person. And if they start to feel that way, it'll definitely have an impact on how you pursue your new crush, because obviously friends talk. So your old crush is going to tell your new crush, hey, this guy used to like me and now he's just moved on to you. And just like that, your new crush decides, man, this guy is a player and I don't want to get with him and your chances are ruined. So how do you prevent all of that from happening exactly? Well, I think before you openly pursue your new crush, you want to try to befriend your old crush. Have them see you as a friend and start interacting with them and treating them like one too. When you talk to your old crush, really establish the fact that you see them as a friend. Even drop some things in there like, I really value your friendship, I think you're a really cool friend, and I'm really happy to know you. By saying and doing things like that, they'll start to see that, yeah, maybe at one point you did like them, but it evolved into a friendship, and a friendship that they really respect. So they're not going to do anything to sabotage or hurt your chances with someone else. Hopefully, they'll see that you're not a player moving from girl to girl here, and that you're just someone who's genuinely trying to find someone that you really like. Okay, cool. Old crush disarmed for the moment. Now you have to worry about your new crush thinking that man you used to like my friend and now you like me why would i want to get with you that's a tough one to work with because even with your old crush on your side as your friend now your new crush might feel like wow you didn't choose me first you didn't like me first i'm kind of just the second choice here so how do you get them out of that mindset honestly i would say the best way to do it is to really show a genuine interest in them as a person let them know that you want to know what their hobbies are what they do for fun what they like what they dislike and what they do after school so maybe potentially one day Day, you can hang out with them. Maybe in the beginning, those thoughts and feelings of you jumping from crush to crush will be there for them, but as time goes on, they'll start to see that you genuinely like them. You want to get to know them, and that's all that matters. Just try to be as honest as you can be. If your new crush asks you if you used to have feelings for your old crush, say, yeah, I thought I did, but we're better off as friends. I realized over time that I actually like you and want to get to know you better. If you say that, you're kind of clearing the slate and letting it be known that, hey, you are all about them now. What do you think though? Are you too nervous to ask out your crush because they're friends with your ex crush? Leave your comments down below and we'll talk about it. If you have a question you wanna ask me in a more private setting, you can always shoot me a DM over on Snapchat or Instagram. I do my best to answer as many messages as I can. But on that note, thank you so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And remember, the learning doesn't end here. Check out the videos I have over there on the side if you wanna keep learning how to navigate these tricky situations you run into with your crush. Otherwise, guys, I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace.